Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, by all accounts, it seems like rapper Morrison's little brother Stephen Morrison was a person who was loved throughout London and Essex. The guy was a lovable rogue who always had a lengthy criminal record and associated with known gangs but he still managed to maintain and mingle with celebrities. Now sadly, on the 23rd of June 2020, the 30-year-old former gangster was stabbed in a car park in the Essex. Now crazily, once Stephen was stabbed, he still managed to get in his car and drive away from the scene towards a nearby shell garage before he climbed out of his car, staggered towards the petrol station and sadly collapsed in the forecourt. Now the sad thing about this was Stephen Morrison was also a dad too and he died in hospital. So when the police launched the investigation, police were quick to say that London gang members were behind the killing and more than 12 associates were arrested in connection with the senseless murder. They even offered a £10,000 reward. But now it seems like Kizzle, who's a pal to Diggity and part of this collective CMG, has beat the case even though he was linked to rapper Morrison's little brother's murder. Now so many dual rappers and gang members are getting released from prison and with so much unsettled scores and beef, people, I am thinking, what is 2022 going to bring? Because 2021 has brought a ton of unwarranted murders. I just hope that people don't try to pressure Morrison to act out of character and try to get revenge on a person who may or may not have something to do with his brother's death. There's two ways to look at it. Of course, you can't ever numb the pain of a family member being murdered, and watching people, potentially responsible, chastising you and taunting you. But then, on the other hand, you can't jeopardise your own freedom on a what-if, especially when you're a good rapper and you have a lot of people to support, and again, you're in the limelight. One act of revenge could turn London into a war zone, and we all know when there's a war going on outside, innocent casualties are the first people to be slaughtered. Fingers crossed, CGM and Morrison's people never ever have to bump into each other. Stay safe, safe.